in their lives. Amen? I believe also that it's not through simple invitation or happenstance that we're even here to meet tonight, but I believe that God has predestined this meeting, that, that if you came expecting something from God, that he's here to meet us at whatever issue that we may have. Amen? And if you're anticipating, come on in this place and just give God some glory real quick, and we're just going to continue with this. Come on and shout glory up in here. Now you realize that we've heard this story a million times. We've heard it in Bible studies, we've heard it in Sunday schools, we've heard it even being taught over the lectern and behind the pulpit. And but no matter how many times that you read this or how many times that you're privy to being witness to this miracle that's being written in this Bible, that God seems to manifest himself even differently, right? Have you ever read a scripture, even if it is John, um, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that no matter how many times you read that, the meaning of that is a little bit different every single time. Amen? Please forgive me. Let's pray. Oh, God, I give you glory right now, Father. God, I give you honor in the name of Jesus, Father God. And Lord, I ask you right now, Father God, to touch my mind, touch my heart, touch my body, and touch my spirit, man, Father God. I ask you, Father God, just to use me, Father God, in the way that you would have me to be used. Bring in every way of thought, Father God. We find the hand of the enemy, Father God, that will come against these, your people, Father God. In the blessed name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Amen. 